All right, Saturday, 10 a.m., February 4, 2017. Run through uh, foreign indexes right now. Uh, basically, not much change going on on here. Um, Amsterdam, blah, blah, blah. High in 2000, a lower high in 2007, a lower high here. But it's beginning to get one more swing through here. Uh, these are logs charts. In my eyes, it's kind of pass on it. Um, uh, it just looks like um, there's a few more of these in Europe that are having difficulty. I'd go after something like Italy and Portugal, I think it is, you know, out of favor. Uh, Sydney, um, I'm still treating this chart as similar to uh, oil, you know, when oil unwound in 2008, 2009, and came up and then rolled over again here. Um, I guess Sydney's been in, or, Australia hasn't had a recession since Clinton was in office. Um, so uh, we shall see here. Um, it's one of those things, you know, the Aussie dollar, uh, our U.S. dollars rolled over, so Aussie's kind of picked up some. Same with Kiwi, and the yen's getting stronger too. Uh, Brussels, less like I mentioned before with uh, Amsterdam, the Dutch, the same thing, peak in 2007 and not much through here, though Though you could kind of treat this as maybe a sloppy five wave and one more to go. Brussels, Brussels, Belgium. The owners of Budweiser, right? Okay, so that's how you can kind of tinker with things that way too, right? Yeah. Um, Brazil, okay, this is what happens when you have inflation, all right? So you have something go from 10,000 to 80,000. Olympics are over, blah, 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 yada, yada, yada. Just a trend line straight across on here. Um, I'm leaning that, you know, what is it gonna do double again from here? I kind of look at all of this as distribution from 2007. You have your commodities and things of that nature. Um, the dollar, U.S. dollar is rolling over, so we are getting some follow-through in commodities, but I'm only looking for the dollar to pull back uh, maybe Q1, Q2, and that's basically just to help the, the debt market uh, lower interest rates so we can sell homes in America. Since our economy is basically um, all, get, all geared around homes anyway, that's the only kind of wealth building we have going on here, besides apps. Stuff like that, you know, non existent stuff. So, but uh, something with intrinsic value like a home, lots of uh, uh, jobs. Uh, Brazil, Brazil, Brazil. What are these monthly? Oh. Uh, CAC 40 here with France, same thing, a high in 2000, a lower high in 2007, and then maybe one more swing up into here. It's not really happening there. Um, let me think here. If the euro gets stronger, uh, that would cause so that would cause some of their inflation to come out of the system. Yeah, what do we have? Travel to Europe. All right. Slower dollar. Uh, all right, Germany, Germany, Germany. I'm going to treat this as, as the double top for right now. Obviously, the Germans have their thing together. Uh, what do we have here? One, two, three, four, slapping the five. What kind of patterns do we have here? Little dots, pink dots were a warning sign. Pink dots are a little bit away. We have pink dots. We would give it just a little more. We have one, two, three, four, five, six months before crack. All right. I'd have to uh, maybe move these. No, I'll do it now. Send this out. Okay, here's our little pink dots here. Pink dots cracked short. Pink dots again here. Um, wow, is this a wave one and a wave two and then comes down? What do you say, Kev? You want to put some sort of mark in here as a short ski? Oh, why not? 
stand up for yourself here. Put yourself a short in. Let's see how it pans out. Yikes. That's kind of fat. Where yeah, that'll work. Uh, short leaning. You know, you'd have to get a confirm down here. So this is going along America too. So what do we have? 11, 8, and 12, 3. What is that? 404%. All right. Lean short. We're going to have to lean short here. Lean up. Uh, what is it? Scale up. Scale up short. There we go. There we go. Try to use all 144 characters, Kev. Lean. And of course, can they read that? Of course they can. There we go. Load. No. Yes. No. Upload. Send us off to this Twitter fear. Twitter fear. Twitter fear. Dex. One Dex. Scale up. Watch. Watch. Pink. Dots. I say yeah. Cool. <whistles> Just do the same for Sydney too, pink dots. Double top, what was the other one? No. I suppose I could switch these over to weekly too, huh Kev? Double the excitement? I suppose I can do that later. Uh, this is Germany, Dow Jones. All right, so World Index. Okay, so you saw that there was some room to run at some of these others. So I'm going to assume here that we're going to swing through here. All right, we're going to have a, you know, I think the, the dollar is going to come off here, like I said. Um, that'd be kind of, it'll help for exports. Um, uh, but like I said, you know, just, one of these things you're watching for a failed breakout. You know, we've had a pretty good move through here so far. Um, this was the peak. This was the peak of the real estate market in 05. Peak of the stock market. First time it peaked in October in all its history. All those October disasters. This was the first time on October. We had an October peak. March peak. All right. So what, we're watching for some sort of reversal here. Euro 100, uh, looks like an all a lot of sideways here. Uh, 3,000, maybe stalling up in here. Double top, comes on the trades lower. Have little dots, these are monthly. Move it up to weekly and daily here. Oh, footsie, that one, monthly bar. Ooh, that one I want to short too. La 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 la, it's a breakout. Yeah, okay, so it broke out. Whoop de doo. Now just put your stops behind it here. This is a, like a test, come back and retest in the same month, and now we're continuing on. So trail it. So this already had the retest. So I want to trail it on here and keep, keep a close eye on it here. Hong Kong, that was a short up in here. And then um, the Hong Kong dollar, I threw this question out here. If the Hong Kong dollar is um, pegged to the US dollar and the dollar drops to 90, how does that affect Hong Kong real estate? I guess it make it, uh, cheaper to buy. Yeah, Get a better deal on the currency. All right, that'd be a 10% drop on the currency. 
okay, Hong Kong, I'm just going off of the most expensive real estate in the world, a lot of sideways on here. That's kind of how I look at it. It's untrue, a lot of sideways. The whole bull market that we've had sideways, but it also ties in with China too, which I believe I have on here. Here's Italy. Okay, Italian vote long. So the, that's that's how I lean, right? Go against the grain, inverted head and shoulders for Italy. It's kind of how I look at it here. Italy. Oh, this is ours. Two hour. Oh, all right. This is mids, 400 cap. Unbalanced volume is picking up on this breakout. So fresh, fresh meat's coming in. Because we lost a little bit of data here, so... But this is the swing you're looking, like I said, you have a sideways, a trend breaks out, it poked through, failed, came back, didn't break through, a little bit bullish here, couldn't couldn't fall through here, it's a wee bit bullish, so you're looking for any type of failure, if it comes through here, then you're, you're watching for if it fails through here, then it'll definitely blast through the other end. Mexico short. Um, the whole currency thing there with Mexico. Very good, Kevin. Good boy. Mark up those charts. So Mexico is kind of the same uh, short side here with Mexico. Disaster again. Regime change. Who's our buddy? Who's your buddy in Mexico now? So and chaos and into and ensue, right? There's nothing like messing with the natives. Um that's why we have a mad dog. All right. I want this mad dog in. Don't follow the rules. He doesn't need to be away for seven years. Just get this mad dog in here. Ah! Ah, doomed to repeat. All right. That's the, or Euro next 100 here. Ah, a little bit of that triangle thing going on here. I'll stretch it. Symmetrical triangle usually points as a continuation pattern here. Uh, watch little dots behind here too. Move this down to like daily, weekly Have to go through. NDX, oh boy, NDX. So we have the little triangle thing going on here too. It's kind of stretching it here. See about, um, what did I say, 5,200? I think it was 52, yeah. So next week pivots are here, 51.89. And 52.16. Uh, for the swing here, put your stops behind here. Uh, like I said, we're, you know, we're in, on Friday's live video, I said that you know after the earnings are over, do, you, do we slide this into um, for June contracts? Do, do we let this thing roll over for September and then into or September into into all of February and then into March? And then what do the kids do? Do the kids roll in short for June? Going into the earnings thing again, that's kind of how I look at it. How, how is this going to pan out after earnings? You know, How many more $18 runs does uh, uh, Apple have? That kind of thing. And India. Um, yeah. India, India, India. Came back pretty shallow on the dip here. This is it is log, but the, the shallower the dip, the usually the more bullish they are. So here was a dip, this one, the, 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 they're willing to buy at any price here, basically. So you have to watch um, the frothiness here. The money should go west, right? From China, and then it should go to India. Back to a full circle, huh? Japan, um, I have a contest on between the, the, the Dow and the Nikkei to see who gets to 40,000 first. What do we have? One, two, three, four, five wave extended. Uh, I'll have to treat this as a, um, uh, I'll tr treat this as kind of a sideways pattern for now. So here's 2000, came down. Here's 2005 and so it came down. This was the buy. You buy the weakest one when it's all going to hell because you're going to find everyone who's they're going to puke it up, and so that that's going to hold. But we're, we're you know we've moved pretty good here. <clears throat> yeah, maybe market some time in Japan here. I'll have to take kind of a closer look on this one here. 
So they're going to have currency stuff. Their number one trading partner is China. Now America, you know, it's just, it's, it can be a headache. Usually when you get this BS out of their, from your politicians, it's usually a continuation pattern uh, against the, the fear, you know, that they build that wall of fear. Uh, I do like milk. I do like wool and I do like lamb. But milk, I think, and for America, I think I said 18, 19, and then 21 over the next three years. I was leaning on the short side here, but we're getting a bounce. So I have to see if there's some follow through. Portugal, accumulate. Holy buckets, holy buckets, Portugal. I don't know what's there. I don't know what their country bird is or country fruit or country flower or whatever, but I like Portugal just like I like uh, Italy just because it's, what is it's cheap, right? I mean, Thomas Jefferson said something about buying stuff just because it's cheap. But um, I like it, the Portugal thing. I don't know what's there. I don't know what opportunities it offers, you know. All I know is that their claim to fame was that they had, I think it was mountains that blocked them from the Black Plague. So their country survived and then went to go on, do their little empire thing for a couple of centuries. Here's Russia. I've talked about this a bunch of times where, I don't know, you go from 2,400 to 400. Or here's 97 when they defaulted, went from 500 to 3,800. That has 1929 written all over it right there. That's exactly what 1929 did, I think. Um, that was when they defaulted. Oil prices hit like 10 bucks a barrel. Defaulted, went all the way up to the commodities. 24, then 500, at 21, here, now we're at 11, come up to meaty area here, so it comes down to oil uh, and natty gas and stuff, but I'll treat this as a larger sideways pattern, kind of keep things tight on here. I mean, when you see stuff like this in, in the real world, you know, 24, you know, you keep losing a third every few years, it's like, the, hey, no wonder, Trump and Putin are buddies. They're pretty good on blowing stuff up every every four years or so. Wow, could you imagine this? Of course you can, Cav. It's happened in the past. Do it again. 1,200 to 200. <laughs> Bring it on. Try the soup. <laughs> okay, here's Russell. All right, so we're getting a hook here. So this is our swing here. We have our sideways breakout. Like I said, you're watching for to see if there's any failures here. Sideways, you begin to trend. The thing is you're watching for if it fail, if there's a failure on here. You know, after earnings, see how things work out. You now, just because we're doing some communism here, we're we say, hey, we're going to just create jobs in America. The government goes on a spending spree. Uh, socialism is where the, the government owns a uh, major industry, like, I don't know, General Motors stock, AIG stock. You know, I'm sure that's, that's never happened before. That's socialism. Communism is where we say, hey, we're not going to have any bidding on these contracts. We're going to give all these contracts to American only. Okay. And it'll be purchased with inflated American labor and inflated, you know, whatever. We'll have fun doing it. It's a last hurrah. I mean, right? Communism in the, in the country. Just create some jobs. We're going we're gonna to think about that. You, you have yourself a STEM degree, and now your job is to go out and build a bridge or a road. Enjoy your STEM degree. All right, while you're standing in the sun, having stop, go, stop, go. All right, so bodies are in this one here too, right? Lost some time. 600 small cap. This is what you're, this, you want to buy the, this kind of stuff on the swing up. But we're in the last vestiges here. Do, I, the bull market's dated in months and not years anymore in my eyes. S&P. You know, I mean, you can you can figure out you can figure out the budget right now and figure out how much we're going to spend on this stuff. Tag seventy, you know, give it seventy or eighty percent of it that we are able to spend, or a hundred percent, or one hundred and twenty, and there's going to be cost overages. 
Sure, of course not. We got a guy that knows how to make the art of the deal, all right? All right. So here's the S&P. Went up, came back in, is trying again. So you're watching here for double top here. Upper targets, 2308 and 2318. But like I said, you know, we're talking earnings and stuff here. You know, some of this, we have Disney and whatever next week. Um, you know, uh, how do I do that real quick? Yeah, whatever. You guys know where the earnings are at. Shanghai. Oh, all right. Not, not too, you know, like I said, watch gold and Bitcoin on this thing here. Because if gold rolls over, then Bitcoin rolls over here, then things are going to be happy place in Shanghai and Hong Kong. But that's, I'm watching just the Bitcoin. It's, there seems to be a little bit of a correlation here. But China, you know, they're on their, they're kind of on their own. This is real sloppy. You know, they had, uh, they kind of just tell you the numbers and stuff like that. You know, here's the numbers. This is what we have going on, you know. But I just kind of, just looks awful. Kind of like Australia too, right? Uh, Singapore, go after this one on the short side. Treat this maybe as a shoulder, a head and another shoulder here. Kevin, you're just so mean to these countries. You know? Lots of sideways here. Remember Singapore dollar, that kind of thing. If it gets stronger, you know. Um, you know, I like nice moves like this. This stuff is, no, no, no. I'll pass. What do we have here? Toronto Stock Exchange, huh? Double top here. That would bring oil, that would mean oil comes down. See, here's the deal. Okay, so you have some guy from Exxon. All right, so most people think, well, naturally you want oil to go up. He's an insider. Well, the deal there is, is if you have a stronger dollar, which is what we're working on, we're just jawboning it down right now. If you have a stronger dollar, we don't have to drill on our property here in Alaska, you know we can import it from over there we can use their stuff so when the end game comes somewhere down the road with oil we'll still have ours and they won't have theirs so uh remember that taxes on are on per gallon so do you want to sell gas at two dollars a gallon or one dollar a gallon exxon like duke and duke they're still going to make their six cents or whatever on every gallon now so Wow, you sell more gallons? You know, that kind of thing. You know. Uh, now that we're down to what? Motor powered bicycles? We kind of, couldn't even afford mopeds. I guess they're the same price. Uh, I'll treat this as a double top here on the Toronto Stock Exchange for now. I'll have to redraw my trend lines and stuff here. Uh, like I you know, we do gold broke out and oil's poking up there so it's, it comes down to you know how far this stuff goes before it cracks um you know once the dollar turn u.s dollar turns it'll probably turn here to the canadian it looks like the canadian dollar and that has a strong correlation to it do you do, 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 do well sure this is a total market so this is a basically the full value of the united states stock market right so we're working on some sort of swing here like I said, watch for any, if it breaks out, because the deal is, is I don't think it's going to correct, you know, since November, I think it's going to correct um, the decade. And my biggest fear is that it corrects the century. Oh, look, what a good boy. So that's that for, uh, I think I hit them all. Uh, let's do this real quick here. Um, summary. Uh, one month. So how are we doing? India, the Nifty is up 6%. The worst is uh, Italy down here, Portugal. Last quarter, uh, Russia's up. That's with oil. Russia's up for the last quarter, and uh, China's even up a third of a point here. Last six months, uh, Russia again's up a third, and New Zealand's on the bottom. And then for one year, Russia's up 70%. Uh, that's not good. They want to sell me a cruise. 
And I should tell him I, I live in the desert. Right? Congratulations. Oh boy, congratulations. <laughs> oh, you cruise. Go on a cruise. That's about 60%. Russell, mid cap, 30%. One year. That's that happens every 23% out of a century, stock indexes go up 30%. So I wonder if I should just say that this is one year instead of going calendar. You know, I, I mean, let's fudge this up, right? Am I going to 23% of the time over a century, U.S. indexes go up 30%. And the Brussel and the mid cap and the small stuff, all those things are up. Those were the ones you want. You want to stay away from the smokestacks. Conglomerates are going to have dollar issues. Uh, yeah. What are we down here? Zero, 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 zero. Something's wrong there. It has to be. All right. So I'll leave you guys go. And that was that on um, Nifty. Oh, grunt right to the top of the cloud. Stall. So could this be a wave one and wave two? We shall see. This wave three. Which way does the wave three go? This way. We'll see. Well, horizontal right across the cloud right here. Stalled. All right. Rock and roll, everybody. Take care. Bye-bye.